Kyle. This is the plant that has now changed my life for the better. I've got it growing there. I've got it growing way down there. I have it growing everywhere. I have it in drawers. It's mint. We're growing chocolate mint, orange mint, spearmint, and peppermint. I've always drank tea. I love tea. And I would put a few leaves in and drink it that way. But now I came up with a different method, kind of by accident. And no joke, it has changed my life. I used to have crepey skin, as they call it, or alligator skin. It's all gone. Zero. So everybody, start growing your mint. Because I use anywhere from one to two ounces of mint, stems and all, every day. So you will need a lot of mint. It's got to be fresh. And don't try to grow it from seed because it may not taste like the mother plant. You can easily do cuttings. If you know somebody, grab some of their plants, stick it in dirt, and it will grow. We have it growing all over our wood chips. I pick up drawers on the side of the road and I shovel in wood chips and throw more mint in there and it grows everywhere. Let's go into the kitchen right now and I'll show you what I do and try it. If you've got crepey skin, it will change your life. Let's go. Okay, now we're back in the kitchen. Um, I picked mint this morning and I've washed it. And I'm just going to strain it. And let's, let me turn the tea kettle off. All right, so now it's strained, and I'm going to just put it, this is some stems and all, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put it in, I use a bullet, you can use a blender, I use a blender too, but this is chocolate mint this morning, and we all, okay, that's stevia, that's, that's stevia. Actually, I'm going to use the stevia, and I brought in, I wanted to show, this is lemon verbena, verbena. <laughs> Lemon verbena. I just bought it. I don't know that much about it, but I made, I threw that in to my tea I made yesterday with the spearmint or the other day. So my husband likes it. So that I'm going to wait. I'm going to put that off to the side. And my moringa tree. I'm going to put some of that in there too. That's good for you. Stems and all. So everything goes in here. Just shove it all in. Um, the lemon verbena, verbena uh, that was really good in the, what was it, this spearmint. I'm not real big on spearmint, but it was actually good with that. And then the stevia we like putting in. So we're going to put it all in here and add in a little bit of water. I already boiled my other water. You heard my tea kettle. We put a little bit of water in there. Sometimes less is better when it comes to chopping. You put too much and it just all spins. Close it up. Shake it up a little bit. So you you kind of almost got a green drink. This is different than just putting crushed leaves or dry leaves. This is fresh from the garden. So it's much different than just putting a little bit in. When you put the leaves in and it seeps, you're really not getting that much. Right now, you can see it's all broke down and you're going to get everything. And there's different ways of doing it. I bought this teapot at a thrift store. People have been asking me where to get it. Somebody told me you can get it at Ikea or something. I don't know. I got mine at a thrift store. So I can put it in here and just, there's a strainer in this. Let me show you. This one has a, a strainer unit, so you can do it that way. And you can pour it in. And the other thing I want to show, if you don't have that, I went to Daiso and they had these nice little strainers and the holes are big, which is really nice. So you can do that too. Just pour it in there and I'm just using a glass coffee cup so it can take hot water and I like to get every bit. The reason I've been making this tea is my skin got real, I was calling it dry. Some people came back on my other video and said I had, I was dehydrated. I wasn't dehydrated. I drink water all day. What I had was, I guess they call it crepey skin and it was showing up a little bit on my chest 
It was showing up all over my hands, um, above, around the knee, and it was just starting to show up everywhere. And I asked, the, I asked my dermatologist and I asked my regular doctor, and their answer was old age. They didn't tell me what to do for it. They said, sorry, that's what happens when you get old. So what could I do? It, it started, you know, a few years ago. So I, there's nothing to do. I mean, it sucks. What are you going to do? So anyways, I tried creams and stuff. Nothing worked for me. And then I've been drinking tea for a long time. Tea I've always made. Within three weeks, I noticed that was all gone. Whatever it was, was gone. And I guess what I was doing, I have some notes here so I don't forget, is I was building up my collagen because mint has so many vitamins and nutrients in it and everything that it was building my collagen back. And it's like, I don't have anything that they call crepey skin or alligator skin, nothing. Um, it's gone, it's all gone. I mean, I've been running around in a tank top, you know, at going to the grocery store and that's something I normally wouldn't do. And it's just something I started, so I'm not giving this up. Anyways, let's go back to the tea, how to make the tea. So once I put it in the teapot, I put one passing for the day. This is all for one day. And you don't have to keep making it over and over. There's enough nutrients and green going in your tea that once will be enough. So I pass it with hot water, and so you can do it with this too. Look how nice that is. And I can let it seep in that. See, the strainer's in there? That's really cool. And then with the teapot, I just fill it to the top. And I let it seep for a few minutes. I can start right away using it. So now I've got both of these. Let's move this out of the way. Now, I don't drink it that strong. And some people have told me it was too strong. I don't drink it that strong. Here's what I do. I take my glass. I get ice out of my freezer and I take the glass, fill it part way up with water so that I've been doing all summer now and then I add in the tea into that as strong as I want it. That's it. Look, it's all left. Now, when this is empty or even when it's not empty, whenever you want, you can start adding water to it. I don't put any more boiled water in it. At this point, I just put regular tap water, cold water, bottle water, whatever you want, and just keep topping it up, and then you've got it all day. Let me set this back over here. The same thing with this. I mean, you would do the same thing. You'd find the glass, because you don't need a teapot. And see? Um, and you would take from that all day. There's another thing you can do. This is so good. Wait a minute. Mm. I can't believe how good it is. This is chocolate mint. I love chocolate mint. Um, let's go back. I digress. You can make ice cubes. I can make them right now. It's a little hot, but my ice cube thing is fine. Let's sit that down and throw it in the freezer. Somewhere. See, I found this tray that makes individual ice cubes. So this way, when I make it now, I can, let's move this over. Easy to pop out to do a little rinse. Look at that, green tea. Now I can fill up that glass with two, three, whatever, however many ice cubes I wanna put in there and top it with water. And then I've got tea that way. So I sometimes do that as soon as I make the tea. Um, sometimes you do it at the end of the day. I do one more passing through and then I just make ice cubes. Whatever, you know, whatever you want to do. The main thing is I wouldn't drink it so strong. That's number one. I think it's just too strong. It's got so many vitamins in it. Why would you want to drink it that strong? And then everybody's plant might be a little bit different too. So you may end up uh, with a plant that's stronger. You know, mine I don't know if it would be stronger or not. It's growing in our wood chips. Um, it, they don't even need any soil. They just grow in the wood chips. They take off. I, I showed you that in the video. So it's all going to be different. And you have to do what, what you want, what tastes good for you. I Like I said, I prefer the chocolate mint. Um, my husband likes all of it. He doesn't care. Um, 
spearmint is really good and I add in some of the the lemon verbena and then I also add in um, stevia I have some stevia in here you can put anything else you want in there and you can drink this all day and like I said once this is let me show this again you know you now I would just add start adding in cold water to it I and mean, you can add in cold water at this point once was enough for the hot water so it just kind of breaks everything down and pulls out all the nutrients in and that's it now you've got it all day and like I said you don't need a teapot if you don't have a bullet you don't need a bullet I bought this at the thrift store for like two bucks I was using my blender until I found that so I use that now um, that's basically it like I said my skin was was bad for quite a few years now it was all I didn't know what it was it was all crinkly and then I noticed it on my chest around my neck um, just different places and all they could tell me was that's what happens when you get old so I just took their word for it I mean and then this changed it this has changed my life I'm not selling anything so don't come to me asking me for mint I, I don't have anything for sale I'm just trying to help people out and give them ideas to try different things it worked for me if you're in doubt ask your doctor I'm since we've gone um, we've gone gluten-free we eat everything out of our garden, buy very little from the grocery store as far as produce. The only thing we buy is a little bit of chicken here and there. I, make all, I cook a lot, so I make all kinds of dishes. I am not on any medication. So there's my blood pressure went down. I'm not on anything. So be sure to ask your doctor. But then again, like I said, make sure if you want to make it and you want it for the next day in the morning, because not everybody wants to run and make tea every day. Make some ice cubes. You'll have the ice cubes will last until you use them. They'll last for a long time. Um, a note to the lady that said she's cheaper than me. I challenge you. I bought this shirt at the thrift store for 80 cents, and then I redesigned it, put all my artwork on it, front and back. And the same day I was there, they had the pants. So I got that for 80 cents. Anyways, that's a joke. Um, go ahead and send me your questions. I can't think of anything else. I hope I can help somebody if you don't like it. Oh, well, I love it. My husband drinks it all day. Like I said, he drinks it straight. It's too strong. It really is too strong. But it's Google Mint. You will find all the nutrients and vitamins and everything in it. It's just, it's amazing how much mint has. And most people use very little mint. Uh, I used to throw it in my salads. I use orange mint when I'm making scrambled eggs because I do like orange mint in my scrambled eggs. That's basically it. I can't think of anything else. Go ahead and ask me questions underneath. We've been bombarded with questions, so if we can't get them, get to all of your questions. We'll do the kitchen thing in the kitchen. I'll drag my husband in and we'll do the question and answer in the kitchen. It's easier for us. Um, that's right, I have a note. I had it on my elbows as well. I already said I had that alligator skin coming and crepey skin, you know, on my knees, but this, has eliminated all of it. I don't have it anywhere on my body anymore. It's totally gone. My husband said, why don't you get off of it for a month and see how you look again? Why? No. No, I have no reason to get off. I enjoy my tea. I, like I said, I drink it all day and I dilute it. So I put about, you know, I fill it, look, the ice melted real quick because it's still warm. But I put about halfway water and halfway tea. You can use less. And just tint your water with the tea. It smells so good. I can see her smelling it all day. Um, it's, it's good for you. I used to make a lot of green drinks in the morning. I start with this now too. Questions, ask questions. We'll do a question answer segment if we can in the kitchen. My husband's off doing something. He got more wood chips this morning. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. And don't forget, eat what you grow. And i got to turn the camera off because I'm doing this myself. Bye-bye.